My clinic Partners in Education is a community partnership that's now in its sixth year that supports McClinic Middle School, which is a high needs um, middle school. There are about 700 students. It's 83% uh, economically disadvantaged, 87% minorities, and about 10% of the students are homeless at some time during the year. And our church, Christ Lutheran Church, adopted McClinic Middle School in April of 2007. And we started with a summer program for 20 students, which, and then that fall started family nights, and we're in our sixth year of family nights. And now in the summer, we provide programming for over 300. When, when the vans pull up and, and, and when family night starts, there's a buzz in our building. It's great to see um, a community uh, come together around a, a group of students and to sustain that over time. Uh, to see so many kids go through the program and to go on to high school and have even more success. Um, but for a church to really adopt a school and to give so much to the teachers, to the students, um, not just financially, but you know, by coming every Tuesday night, by volunteering, proctoring during testing, um, providing our teachers with supplies at the beginning of the year. Um, they really work to try to meet all of our, our students and teachers' needs. The, the collaboration is so key. There are key people within the school, teachers, administration, the principal, and a counselor who support everything we try to do and help us the same way we try to support and help them. Our volunteers learn so much. They learn how to accept people. They learn what kind of diamonds are down inside of folks that don't even know it themselves. A lot of the students that we deal with don't have a lot of role models um, in their neighborhoods. They don't they don't know an engineer. They don't even know what an engineer is. So to give them that exposure and, and help them to find how science and math can be relevant um, helps them to see something that they might be interested in doing in the, in the future and a reason to do well in school, stay in school, and pursue that. With respect to the um, STEM education, uh, when we started our family night program, we began with homework help and tutoring but we found that the kids tended not to bring their homework and we didn't feel it was as intentional as it could have been. So we had a couple of retired engineers that wanted to start a small engineering club. They did that with two teachers and we noticed that those kids were, came more regularly than anyone else. On a very surface level, you've got a middle school kid who is now understanding robotics or science or math. There's a tutorial element to it. And on the other side, you've got some retired guy who is offering service to the community. But then you get a little bit deeper than that. And, and you realize what you're giving that middle school kid is more than just some problem solving. You're giving them a vision of what could be. We've seen it change the way that they talk about what they're going to do. They're going to be an engineer after they get finished with college. For a lot of these kids, the question was if they were ever gonna to go to college, and now they're talking about when they finish college. This is one of our strengths. This is one of the best things about McClinic is the partnership. Um, it's a model uh, in the school district. It's a model um, you know, in our country. And uh, I wish more people would kind of put their actions uh, where their words are, like uh, Christ Lutheran Church and McPie does. I don't think we're going to be able to save everybody, but there's going to be a significant handful whose trajectory in life will change dramatically. And from there, breaking that cycle of poverty for his or her family, and then impact generations to come.